So when you're building Excel spreadsheets, there's certain things that can make your life a little bit easier and the process is a little bit more efficient. I'm going to demonstrate one called a name list or drop down box. So let's do a simple example. Let's say we have a, a list of units, for example, and for each business unit, we want to indicate which province it operates out of. Now I could type in two letter codes like ON for Ontario, BC for British Columbia, but you know what, by the time I get here, I might by mistake type in CB. Or somebody might type in PQ for Quebec and then QC in another instance. Well, that doesn't help me because the same codes are shown in different ways. So what I'd like to do is have one list that's going to give me a sort of like a drop down uh, that I have to choose from. So it becomes a validation on its own because I'm forced to choose from a list and it's a lot faster. So it's like similar to choosing, let's say, a font or something like that. You want a, a list to pop down. So step one is go to any sheet, including this one. You can put your list over here on the side, but I like to create a brand new sheet. So down at the bottom, click the plus sign, and I'm going to type in a list of my provinces. Okay, so let's put the heading here called Prov, and let's type them in. So from West Coast to East Coast, we have BC, AB, SK, MB. Let's see if I can get this. ON, PQ for Quebec. N S for Nova Scotia, N B for New Brunswick, P E Prince Edward, and N F. Okay, we'll leave it at that. So here's a list, and I could have another list for cities, another list for job IDs, one for performance ratings, one for supervisors. I could have as many lists as I want, uh, and try to keep them on one sheet. So what I'm going to do is step one: highlight the list of items, and maybe one extra one, a blank one. Uh, just in case I insert some later on at the end, like I might want to put none of it in there. Uh, if I include a blank spot, it'll be included on the list, right? So highlight plus one, go from the home tab to the formulas tab and click on the button called define name. So we're going to give this list a name. Let's give it a proper name like PROV. Now remember what that spelling is, PROV exactly like that, okay? Click OK. And the list is actually in Excel. You could use it as many times as you want. Now, I'm just going to show you. In the Formulas tab, if you click Name Manager, it'll show you all your lists that you've created. And you could delete it. Try not to edit it. I prefer just to delete and start again, right, if you need to change it. So there we go. We have a list. Now go back to Sheet 1, and we determine where we want this list to be. So I want it to be in all of these cells. So you can highlight actually a whole bunch of blank ones as well for later. But for now, I'll do these, highlight them, go to the Data tab, and go to Data Validation. Now, we've done this before. So click Data Validation. And the restriction we're going to put, the validation we're going to put, is a list, right? So you go to List, and in Source, type in Equal, and the exact spelling of your list. Now, there's other ways to do this, obviously. I'm showing you the best practice way, OK? So Equal Province, click OK, and look what you've got. You've got drop down boxes in each cell. So I pick a few, I go down, it's a lot easier. You can use the arrow buttons and the space bar as well if you like. I think it's a lot more efficient, especially when you have department names or job IDs that you need to choose from, or reasons for sick, or uh, things like that, training courses, right? Now, you might want to create just a blank column here and start your next one over one because that arrow just might get in the way other ways, right? So practice with that, have, uh, have some fun with it, and think of other uses for it.